She always calls herself a life-made millionaire, telling a story of how sure she was she wasn't going to live enough to have any kind of dream or aspiration because of how hard it is for her and her family. But she did live long enough to dare to dream, and she did dream big. She's currently the most decorated philanthropist in West Africa. She's also the chairwoman of so many international institutions. She has helped young ladies through universities. And she is considered one of the three women being given the position for the Minister of Women Affairs and Social Development. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Mrs. Cecilia Brightworth. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, stop, stop, honey, stop, come on, hey, come back What now? Nothing. Do you ever allow a moment of joy and peace rest on your face? Do you ever? I can't help it. You can't? Why? Listen, what if she doesn't exist? If she did, she would have reached out to you. Even if she doesn't know I exist. What eats me up is what she's been through, the kind of life she's lived. We're so comfortable, but yet, I don't know how low she's been there. What if she's living better than that? I don't know. I don't know. Exactly my point. You don't know the kind of life that she had had. And why do you keep imagining that everything is bad? You pray every day, don't you? Or you're telling me you don't believe in the efficacy of prayers? <sighs> I do. I believe that one day I will meet with her. And no one encourages me the way you do. Thank you. No man can love you the way I do. So, um, how about the girl that you're monitoring? Well... Where I'm close to meeting with her, but my fear is what the outcome will be. Listen to me. You have spent so much time watching this girl, and increasingly by the day, you, you believe that she is your missing daughter. Yeah. Maybe your prayers have finally been answered. So stop getting scared of reaching out to her. Reach out to her, or else we'll keep searching. I'll put things in place to reach out to her. She's always talking about her parents and wanting to give anything to reunite with her parents. That means she have a whole lifetime to spoil her. Hmm. I will spoil her, silly. Hmm. Yeah. Believing that she will understand when I explain things. Of course she will understand. It's not your fault that she was taken away. Yeah. Hmm. There you come. Stop worrying yourself. We'll find her. I'm sure. Huh. I'm going to be like her someday. I mean, Madame is so inspiring. <laughs> she is. You are a chef, Tammy. So why do you like sounding like I'm going to be a chef for the rest of my life? Wait. <laughs> what is wrong with being a chef for the rest of your life? Nothing. In fact, I love my job. I love being a chef. I even had to go to school to study this whole thing. Okay. Yes, but I'll just love to, you know, try out some other things in my life. And at some point, I know I'm going to retire from this kitchen. And then you'll be doing what? Oh, what is wrong with you? She can be whatever she wants to be. Let her be now. Uh -uh. Hey, 
mean, that's what I'm asking now. What she intends to be pursuing after now. I mean, not be English I speak. The English way you speak now. When they start, I say be bad, Bene. But you actually sound like she cannot achieve it or she doesn't have the capacity of being whatever she wants to be. Exactly. I don't understand. But you do know that saying you want to be like Madame from where you are right now is reaching. A lie. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I totally disagree with you. And if both of you have not heard this before, let me say it again. Do you know that Madame hawked on the street for like three good years? At what age? I don't know. That doesn't matter. What matters is her level then might be better than Tamizon right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How old is Tamizon? I am 31 years. But you do know that Madame sold granite in her early 20s. <laughs> <laughs> so you try to tell me now, say, first we don't reach 31 years, not unto old mama. Mama understand now, nah, because let's say something about the worry for your head. Your head not correct, one lie. What do you come, wait, wait, oh. See, the mama does clear you now. I'm a certified train chef. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I love my job mm. so well. And if you must know, if I want to say, okay, oh, see my this kitchen, I want one die puts. I go become Belonia. Amen. Keep your amen. I don't want time. Keep on bad belly. No need to be abusing me now. <laughs> ah, this is a human being. <laughs> eh? <laughs> hey, so you don't pay you. I don't abuse you, my sister. Why about abuse you now? You don't wish. You understand? <laughs> and you don't wish. <laughs> See, eh, my mother's clear you now. Eh. As of 2019, mm. Gordon Ramsay, he made $63 million. Can mm. you beat that? Mm. Eh, but um, you can be Tammy Ramsay. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, exactly. Who are you? <laughs> Keep wishing. Mm. You know what, Tim? Your time for you don't expire. Why do they do like this now? Come out. Never... Carry your bad marks, leave this place now. You never reach violence now. You don't get all this into violence. Now, war. Leave this. Just take come out. Samira. Stupid policies. Move, move, move. Samira. <laughs> you pay you too. You pay me. Now you pay pass. Come out for a year now. Hi guys, Juliana here, aka Jules. How are you all doing? How are you all doing? <laughs> okay, I had my 30th birthday a few weeks ago and I am still getting gifts from such lovely people. So I want to say thank you. Thank you all for the love and the support. I will never take it for granted. Okay, so I want to continue talking about all the steps that I've been taking to help me keep loving myself and staying positive while I keep searching for my parents. You all know the story of how um, a very poor woman picked me up while I was crawling near a bush. And ever since then, I have been hoping that I would spend my 30th birthday with my family. <laughs> I'm sorry. waiting for? Uh, not more than 45 minutes. My darling, about like six hundred years. But why didn't you call me and tell me you were coming? Uh, what if I didn't come home on time? Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. What would you have done? <laughs> Beating. <laughs> I'm going to come back to a box of slap. <laughs> yeah, I'm not serious. Oh, so good to see you. I missed you. I missed you. How have you been now? My darling, I'm fine. 
How are you? I'm good though. And ah. how is work? Work is great. It's mm. the person we'll do now. I can see it. Mm. My dear. Not glowing. <laughs> Am I? Yes, your boss's money is rubbing off on you. I'm uh. serious. You are, you're coming in meaning. Uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I wish you. I wish. What? Did you cry? And I can see patches of tears under your eyes. Did I have you break past? Oh, I wish I had break past it. No, um, it's actually this um, girl, my madam wants me to monitor for her. Hmm? Mm, she's a social media influencer. Her name is Jules. Do you know her? Jules, yes. Jules. I could don't know all these people. Me and internet. So you <laughs> 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 what are you monitoring her? Oh, my madam feels she's her daughter. Her missing daughter. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You see? Mm. Real, real. Yes, now. Daughter, daughter, she born. Yes, now. Daughter, that she born. No. Is she away? Not yet, but um, very soon she should be. <sighs> when that gets made, though, like this, like this, her life is now soft. Ha! <sighs> See this one? Hmm, I'm a mannequin. <laughs> it's not about that. The thing is, you know, that void that is missing with having a family member around you, your mom or your dad, you know, a parent. It's, it's, it's. Just, it just got me really emotional. I know. I, I, I. Yeah, it's true, Sha. It's true. But me, <coughs> I cannot relate. Because right now, Saba is not on my edge. Don't be laughing. Not, I don't even know why I'm laughing with you. <laughs> okay, so how, how long have you been? How is mom? How is mom? Mom is fine, but I had to run. My darling, mom is too much. You know her now. Yeah? Always wanting to make me feel like I'm a two year old. I don't have sense. I can't make decisions. Yeah, on my baby, own. now what do you expect? As I know, I beg, I beg, I beg. I'm not babying again. Our daughter has hit me hard. Wait, well, how long have you been home? Uh, two weeks. Two so what? Are you joking? Sorry. Sorry, I should have told you. I didn't want to tell you now. Ha, uh -huh. Yes, now. Why would you? Okay, baby girl, imagine. What? After all the mouths that I made, I'm going to Abuja. I get to Abuja, things don't work out. And then I'll now call you on the phone and tell, ah, after my shalai, my shakara, that I'm leaving the house and come back again. The Abuja deal didn't work. It didn't work, my darling. So I'm back to be with you people. You know, you know, you, you take life too seriously. You're taking things too hard on yourself. <laughs> don't worry, everything will be fine, yeah? I know. I know. I know everything is gonna be fine because my sweet, loving, caring, most beautiful uh, uh, sister in the whole this wide this world this is this going this to this let me stay in her house <laughs> for a short time. Short time. Rent per night is um fifty thousand naira. Yeah, room service is fifty. What's that? <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> so. I asked Stephanie to give an invitation to her. I hope she honors it. Listen, she will honor it. She has no <laughs> choice but to honor it. Do you know who you are? <laughs> hmm? You have a way of making me feel, you know. Of course, when you're big, you're big. Go Polish devil. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> right, so. Let's do it. Let's do it. Tommy, Tommy. Wow, this looks good. Thank you very much, ma'am. I just hope she likes it. I hope, I hope so too. Thank you. Is she here? Good day, ma'am. Yes. Wow. She's here. But she actually came with her photographer. Wow. I was thinking we could do this privately. Um, well, I could ask him to stay back okay. and then l l let her come in alone. Maybe later he can come in. Mm, okay. Let all of them come in. Uh -huh. Everyone who wants to talk, we can't do that alone. Oh, okay. All right. Let me just get them. Yeah, get them in. Wow, Jules. Wow. I'm so okay. happy. It's such an honor to meet you, Ma. I see it in you, finally. <laughs> I, I brought my photographer. I hope you don't mind. I, I don't want people to say I'm lying. When no, I tell no, them photographer, I'm you can go on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is sorry. My chef prepared a meal for us. Oh, wow. Okay. You like it. <laughs> Thank you, ma. <laughs> Thank you, ma. <laughs> Tell me about this platform of yours and what inspired you. I'm actually very nervous sitting in front of you, ma. Don't be. I'm starstruck too. I'm very happy that you <laughs> actually take time to watch my channel. Yeah, I do as many times as possible. And truly, you have never disappointed me. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma. Yeah. Uh, I, I actually started the the channel as a way of fighting depression. Okay. Um, as a child growing up, I had many issues. And you can say that as an adult, most of the issues came back for me. Yeah. And um, it was tough for me to just imagine how I would live the rest of my life like this. So I, I just started, you know, about maybe three years ago, um, I just started recording and talking about the issues that I was facing and trust me, every time I did that I had a little relief. Thank you. Um, then <laughs> I have lots of those videos, trust me. And then one day a friend of mine came to my house and she saw one of the recordings and she would not let me rest until I posted one of them online. Wow. And that was how it all started. You've done so well for yourself. Thank you very much, ma. Well then, I actually called you so we could talk privately. Okay. Yum. But let's eat first. Yum. Yes, mm. ma. Thank you. It looks good. Yay! She finds Sha. Ah, very old. Now that I've seen her on ground, I think she might be the one. Wait. Were you waiting to meet her in person before you believed? Yes, now. Somehow I didn't see any resemblance before now. Me too. In fact, they don't look alike at all. As in at all. Mm. Well, 
I think she might be the daughter, but she may not be as private and as calm as Madame. Hmm. Someone that has a show that talks about everything is whom you want to be private. How? Okay, I've actually told her to keep calm about this whole thing. I just wish she really can. It's going to be best for everybody. But I intend to talk to her about it though. Well, if she can do that, if not, trust me, now all these social media people, they'll be putting their mouth in what does not consign them. They must talk. Exactly. So, my dear, I called you so we could talk about something that has been of huge concern to me. Okay. Did you say you were picked up? crawling near a bush by a poor woman that died when you were 14. Yes, ma'am. What else did she tell you? I would like to know. <clears throat> well, um, she... She said that she saw an uncompleted building. Okay. And, and she believed that I must have crawled out from there. Okay. Um, but it was already getting dark. And she said she knew it was a bad idea for her to go in to the building. And then yet she couldn't leave a little child, you know. So um, she came back the next day and um, with me and some other people. But she still couldn't find my mother. You mean she came back? Yes. And my mother was nowhere to be found. But I was in the bush searching for you. What? <sighs> Juliana. I had a daughter that is supposed to be 30. No. What? Yeah. But she also crawled out out of a completed building. We are kept her. What are you trying to say? The story is familiar. Very, very familiar. Maybe I'm the mother you've been looking for. You mean you left me? In an uncompleted building? didn't abandon you. I was sleeping in that uncompleted building with you. My parents deserted me when I had you. You were fast asleep and I just rushed out to buy food. And by the time I came back, you had crawled. I didn't leave you. Yeah, but she came back the next day. And she still didn't find you. Came back. I actually came back. But I heard voices in that uncompleted building. I thought it's the workers. Normally, I leave there by 5 a.m. before they arrive. I didn't know they brought you back. It is very difficult to take it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have been heartbroken for 30 years. Please. I'm sorry. I will make it up to you all my life. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
this you know those behaviors that men have that you just know that this one is not for me we'll just pack your load and just be going <laughs> ah, that was the behavior the story of my life wait so i moved and he hasn't called you called <laughs> My darling, this guy called me two days before I arrived. Two days? Before I arrived. After you left Abuja? Before I arrived here. Two, two. days. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and he actually made you go to Abuja because of the promise of a job, right? A job, care job, ni. It's not only a job. My darling, if you ask me, I would say this man was just working. And he saw where they posted staff needed. And he snapped it, collected their phone number. So and the Abuja job did not work? He did not work anything. It didn't work anything. That is, <laughs> that is what I'm going to This one, ah. a good readers do. Ah, what kind of rubbish is this one? <laughs> Sis, hmm. when I realized that this man is the type that just wants you to come, clean, cook, work, uh. do all those baby uh. mama nonsense uh. for him, I said, Whoa, not, is it me, Benny, that wants to sit down and be doing this one? He's a very I foolish pack my things though. and I jack back. Eh? Ah, he's the worst. <laughs> he's very foolish. Oh. Rubbish Can human you? being like this. Sorry. What is it? What is wrong? I, I, I thought I begged, I begged this girl not, 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 not to do this now. Do what? Wait, with Jules? Uh, Abina, Julia, what did she do? Can you imagine? Jules just posted a video with, with my madam. What kind of thing is this now? Already. Ah, I, she, On the she, internet. She, she promised that she was not going to... See, I have See, to this go. girl, eh? I have to go now. I have to go. Must she post everything? I don't know this kind of Wait, Where are you going to? You're not going to, to eat go. breakfast. I'll, I'll eat when I get uh, No, no, no. But, no, no, no. I took my oh, time this, to make this, this food. This is serious, I beg. This is serious. I'll see you later. Just like that. I'll call you. Guys, I couldn't sleep between last night and this morning. But um, I was actually supposed to keep it on the wraps for now. But I feel like a 14-year-old again. I, f I feel like if I don't say it, it would disappear. <sighs> Guys, I just met my mother. And we cried in each other's arms. She has been watching me and didn't know how to contact me for so many months. And she said she was sorry and she promised to make it up to me. The question is, will I accept her apology? I don't know. I really don't. Okay, so I am going to talk about this phase of my life in the more episodes to come. So you guys should please stay tuned. And uh, I would like to say that my mother is no other than Mrs. Cecilia Brightweight. <gasps> what? world is wrong with kids of nowadays. Couldn't she apply her senses or even use her discretion? What's the meaning of this? I don't think she accepted my apology. So? Did she have to go public? Oh no. What do we do now? And it begins. Yeah, really begins. Steph, calm down. Calm, calm down, calm down, how? Eh, hey, calm down, how? I practically encouraged her to see her and talk with her. How am I supposed to calm down? 
Why don't you encourage her to seek help? She's still going to reach out to her sooner or later. So what's the point? Which kind of thing be this now? Man? Which kind of thing be this? Okay, I don't... Oh. What kind of nonsense is this? Eh? Look, I really do not know what to say right now. I don't. Is Madame out? No. She's upstairs. I thought you said you spoke to her about this. Yes, I did. But she promised that she was going to let us know anything before she says it. I don't understand. Is she trying to use Madame's popularity for some gain or what? I do not know. I just think she's trying to punish Madame for abandoning her. That's true. You think so? Of course, yes. I watched that video like three times and she didn't even make one step in saying that she forgave Madame for abandoning her. So I know what I'm saying. That's actually true. Uh-huh. I've, I've been trying to reach her. I've only been switched off. She's doing this on purpose. She's hot and wants Madame to hurt too. Well, She'll be talking the to the press. The point here is, for a woman who is known for empowering young girls to be this evil, is mind-boggling. <clears throat> okay, okay, this, this, this is not good. Madame needs to know about it. The big girls, I need to call her. I am going to wait and see the end of it all. Thank you, thank you so much. I'll keep you posted. Yeah, my regards to your family. Bye. She's worried about your appointment? Yeah. <laughs> What's amusing you? I feel bad. Uh, maybe... That's what it takes to be the mother of a grown daughter. Something in me that's, I'm enjoying the whole of it. You're enjoying it, right? <laughs> yeah. Look, honey, there's still a long way to go in this matter. We haven't done DNA yet. I know. Yeah. I feel very good about the whole issue. And something in me also tells me she's my child. Hmm. Her story is so, so undeniable. Really? Come in. Oh. Good day, sir. Good day, Ma. How are you? Good day, Steph. What is it? Um, Ma, Veronica Bello is on television right now talking about you. What? The activist? Yes, yes, sir. <sighs> She has never spoken about this daughter of hers before. And she has been watching her cry her eyes out, calling for mother's love, only for her to come out to make herself known finally. Why now? Well, I would have asked why if I didn't know that this is her way of trying to make us emotional about all she claims she went through. The students are watching, watching her play the sweet mother that found her long lost daughter because the drama is about to start just for her to be appointed. Are you okay? What she's saying about me is inaccurate. We listen, we all know that. Okay? We know that. Oh my god. She's a well-respected lady. I, I, I expected more than this from her. What does she know about me? You need to calm down. Oh my god. Ma, should I put together a press release? No, 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 no. I think it will be too quick. It will look defensive. We have to be calm from our own side. Okay, Ma. Steph. Ma? Ma? Did you get to her? Oh, yes. I, I, I tried calling her earlier, but her phone is still switched off. Okay. Keep trying. Please give me a cup of coffee. Just sit down. Hmm? 
they are all congratulating her. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so this one they mad though. What? See what he said. He said, eh, this one said that he wants to be abandoned and discovered since the Bay White family accepted Jews. <laughs> so let the family of the vice president or the president come and accept him. That he's tired of his own parents. <laughs> 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 no, he's very foolish. See, see, see this one. Foolish boy. <laughs> see them. Village witches. Who should be that one? Guys, <laughs> can you imagine? Witches is lying about this. I know her. Her village is close to mine. Her parents are there. See, this being has come. Hmm. But what if she's saying the truth? Really? Yeah. And the truth took her to wait till now before saying it. Do you even know how long she has been crying about her parents? Okay, you see why right. I, I, I actually did not want her to say anything about this whole situation. Like, lay low for now. You don't have to talk about it. Now, everybody will have a say on this particular matter. People with nothing even concerned. They will come out. <laughs> now, my own concern is say, what did Madame will come do now? Eh? I'm sure she'll probably want to talk with her. Rachel, Hello, Ma. There you go. Oh, thank you. You didn't get anything for yourself. Oh, I'm fine. So, how do you feel? Excited. I couldn't even hold back. Guess how many people followed me on social media yesterday? How many? 20,000. <gasps> oh my God. People are happy for me. Oh my God, that's so good to hear. And a brand sent me a meal yesterday. Hmm. Those ones are trying to milk the moment. As usual. Mm -hmm. But I will be finalizing with them later today. Mm, that's good. <laughs> but so... Has the bright week called you? Um, I'm sure they've been trying to reach me. The, the phone number that they have, I turned it off since. Why? I'm not sure they're happy that I went public with it. But I've always lived my life for the public eye. I, I cannot hide anything now. You, you understand? So, have you thought about the DNA test? Yep. And what is... Listen, there's this... There's this thing about the woman that feels right. So whenever they're ready, I want the confirmation too. But... Trust me, that woman is my mother. And I am rich! Congratulations! <laughs> okay, let me turn off my other phone. Thank you. Hi, Stephanie. My God! Oh, Same you. color. Unbelievable, man. Wow. You're welcome. Oh, you're welcome. welcome. Thank you. Sit down, for sit down. Thank you very much. Um, please, I want to apologize for my actions. I realized very late that um, I should have kept my mouth shut. Was that why you switched off your phone? Yes, ma'am. I, I didn't know how to face you. I was just too excited about the result. It's okay. I'm excited too. And then now all these people are just spinning the story in a million ways. I'm so sorry. I don't care. I don't. After all, they don't know what I've been through all these years. My everyday prayers and the joy I feel right now seeing you. I don't care. Thank you. going on with you? How? You have been quiet all evening. <sighs> I'm actually just been thinking what it feels like to... To have a child? Yes. And a family. You know, I'm trying to imagine how devastated and how Madame will feel if Jules turns out that 
she's not her daughter. Because ah, Madame is strong. She'll be fine. Hmm? My ride is almost here. Oh, well, I'll be fine. Are you sure you'll be fine? Sis, I'm scared for the both of them. The internet craze is out of this world. Please. Okay, what if the result turns out to be negative? What happens? I don't know. What I know is that, I, in fact, I think my boss is going to be the one who will hurt most about this whole situation. This thing is going to pain this woman. Why? Do you know how long she's been dying and trying to meet her child? True. Left for how? All this DNA test rubbish. She will not do it. Uh uh. Why? Because of the possibility of losing the joy. Of she has course. Well, Joseph has been looking for her parents too, right? Joseph is not a child. She's the one who went online and talked about this whole thing. I just feel like she's using this whole situation to get fame, you know, get fans, get people who, who, who sympathize <clears> with her. So she's, she's she's taking advantage of the whole situation. Well, I think she was a little bit emotional and she's not thinking straight. If you ask me, well, she's this thinking too much. Uh, imagine a mother waiting for her child, ready to give up everything. Uh -uh. I swear, they had to just stop wondering. <laughs> Hello, mommy. Mommy. Yes. <laughs> mm, she's here. Okay. Mommy. Mommy, you not call my own phone. Hello, mommy. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm not comfortable with this. And I said there's nothing to worry about. Why are you so skeptical about moving forward though with this? I understand your fear. Fears? I don't have any fears. Maybe you. I'm not scared. So, why don't you do a DNA test? I need her to be psychologically ready. So, just small time. Small time? Okay, so she also needs to stop that, the talk she's doing on that show. Yeah, about that, I have talked to her about my concerns. She'll stop it. No, I don't think so. You're not enforcing it. You didn't enforce it. Maybe because you think you haven't been in her life for all this while and you're trying to compensate for all this. That's why this is happening. No, we shouldn't be. Yeah. There's this calmness that overwhelms me that I've seen my child. Why well, don't show me some evidence? You will see evidence soonest. I hope so. Yeah, you will see. But I hope you will be lenient enough with her when she moves in. Let's see. <laughs> Cheers. To all the money in the world. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Lots. Mm. Ah, nice. And this is a seventh endorsement in one week. Hmm. My friend, I need this kind of disruption in my life. You're really cashing out millions here. And you can imagine what will happen when I officially become a Braithwit. If? When? <laughs> Girl, come on. What exactly is your problem? Problem? How? It's the half excitement for me. Which one is half excitement? What are you talking about? I can see it now. I can feel the energy. What is the problem? <sighs> Just reminding you that you haven't taken the DNA test. And who told you that I have forgotten? Then why are you acting like it's not important? Why are you drinking paracetamol for my own headache? <laughs> Sorry, oh, no vex. Not my mistake. If you're jealous, why don't you just say it? Me, jealous, never. It didn't concern me. If you're jealous, that is your problem. Who oh, God don't bless, God don't bless. <laughs> so I'll be like, what? Well, the princess of the bread. <laughs> I don't even want to imagine it. I'm just excited. One more. The end of my don't really like now. It choke. I bet mean, they should be coming down. <laughs> well, everybody's just taking advantage of the moment. 
Did you see the picture of that old man that was training last night as a mother? Oh, yes, I saw it. But she denied it. Hmm. I think they're calling her the Brit White uh, Princess. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so. Fortunately and unfortunately, that is exactly who she will be when the test result comes out positive. Hmm. That's true. The anyway, they never take. <laughs> but honestly, Steph, please speak to Madame. Because she has to take that DNA very, very seriously. Wait, 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 wait. It's important. Hey, wait. When did I become Madame's advisor? Because you know that she listens to you. And I'm supposed to take that privilege and misuse it. You are not misusing it. We are just curious. When they do the DNA test, if it is positive, everybody will rest. Abby, I'm telling you. Huh. Oh. Sure. Please, Steph, I beg, behave well. Oh. If Steph not content, then what do you want to do? Come in. Ma? Yes. Sit. Okay. Oh. Say something. Um. I'm sorry, Ma. Are you are you going to um, have that DNA test anytime soon? Why are you asking? Nothing really. There's um, a lot of assumptions ongoing online right now, and Jules is being called the bright sweet princess. Really? Yes, Ma. So you think? Wasting time is dangerous. Yes. She has gotten a lot of endorsement because of you. And if the result comes out positive, that is fine. If not. Then there's a reality to fall back to. Hmm. Um, would you need anything else, Ma? No, no, I'm fine. Can I get you something? No, you... no, thank you. You can go. Um, if you need anything, just call me. It's okay. You can go. Okay. I believe they can eat you onto the teeth. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're back? How far? Did you tell madame? Yes. Beautiful girl. Yes. Lovely girl. She, you see why we love you. Mm. You see why we love you. Mm. Mm? Mm. <laughs> you do well. She make I cut you cake. Wait, my book is complete. What did she say? Oh, I don't forget. You know they eat cake, so don't miss. Talk now. <laughs> What'd she talk? No, well, she didn't say anything, but I'm sure she listened. She heard everything I told her. Oh, thank God. That's a good step. Yeah, yeah. Okay, darling. Yeah, see you soon. Okay. Hmm. So, she's ready? And you? Are you ready? I am. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Come. There's something I always like to say. And that I can't stop saying. Well, I know what you're about to say. Then let me say it. Okay, fine. <laughs> May God bless you, Edward. For loving me so much. For keeping us. For all the encouragements. Even though I couldn't give you your own child. Wow. Thank you. Can I also tell you something? <laughs> Said so thank you, and I'll take it any way God gives it to me. <laughs> I love you. I love you so, so much. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, Hold. 
about it, enjoy. Madam Hot Food. I want to kill yourself with hot food. Madam Hot Food. Even now, I'm going to do what? Enjoy, my darling. Hmm. Ah, if we just bring fog join you like this up. It's entering my eyes. I'm so hungry. I want to come on your hands now. Oh, this one. Sorry. I'm so hungry. Thank you so much. Well, I'll just come to your rescue. What to do? As your superhero. That's okay, Shani. What? what? Wait. What's now? My madam and Jules have finally decided to go for the DNA test. Okay, why are you reading it off Julia's page? What Be happened? Because it's going to be on our next episode. Uh, why? What is this girl's problem? I thought you told her to slow down. Must she put everything on the internet? I don't tire. I don't talk. I don't tire. Oh, your madam is not even bothering. She's not complaining. So who are you to complain? No, managing the situation is my work. So it's my business. True. True. I know. She's not even taking a drag school. Good drag, good drag, good drag. Publicist. Aha, uh -huh. publicist. Uh, wait, if she's not taking that lady's call. We haven't confirmed that she's your boss's daughter. When we confirm, what's going to happen to you people? She could take all of her job with that too. She could take her now. I, I could kill myself. I won't kill myself for person matter. No, she's doing can... too much. She's doing too much. You should slow down. You get why? Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> Hello, Ma. You're ready? Yes, I am. some banking work for madame. I hope so she hear you. Well, I hope so too and I hope it comes out well. I won't lie, I'm low-key very scared, Sha. About what? About Jules. Oh. Yeah, because honestly I know that she's madame's daughter, but her coming close to madame is something I don't think is quite good for madame. I know, because of the so much things she puts out there, right? Yeah. You know, Madame is a very private person, but she's not. Well, I'm worried as well, but unfortunately, there's nothing we can do. Hmm? True. Now. But we have to, we have to go and pray. And <laughs> what's talking about Bible? Because if she's not a nice person, then we're in trouble. <laughs> I'm telling you. Because we know Madame has been looking for a child for a very long time. So whatever she says to Madame, finish. By that time, we're going to pray to God to say, God, come and help us. I'm fine, I didn't cook anything. How did it go? It went well. So how do you feel? Mm-hmm. Missed feelings. <laughs> you look worried. How long do you say? For thirty hours. Oh, that's good. So we will know what <laughs> is facing us and how to confront it. Okay. What? <sighs> I don't think I'll keep searching if this turns out to be negative. Look, 
understand the emotional exhaustion. But I want us to take it one day at a time. Yeah, basically, that's what I'm trying to say. Come in. I guess what I'm trying to say is that everything depends on you and what you want. So, whatever decision you make in the next 24 hours will be easy. If it passes 24 hours, I cannot promise you that the prices will remain the same. Okay, so you call me back tomorrow morning and let's talk. All right, bye. Thanks. And why are you giving everybody 24 hours to call you back? What if more people want you for endorsement beyond 24 hours? And that will mean a different level of negotiation. Mm. I need to start creating room for my mother's influence in everything I do. Mm. <laughs> okay. What have you been up to? You know, normal pictures, social media, beauty. What is this apology for? Okay, um, I will stop you. Come back to Apucha and do what? See. I beg you in the name of God, in the name of everything that you serve and hold dear to yourself, don't you ever call this line again. Don't call my number again. Don't you ever try it in your life again. Nonsense. Can you imagine this guy? <laughs> You're laughing at me. That one is not, that one is foolish. That one no get sense. No, it's, it, he's mad. What rubbish? I should come back to Abuja and do See, what? I don't know. If you should sort yourself. Me, I'm tired. I, don't know. I should come and I'm between a married housewife. Secret Baby story. mama, I'll be waiting. Are you not the one doing relationship? <laughs> Let me go to sleep. No, if somebody hears the way you say this, are you not the one doing relationship? They will think you yourself, you don't want to be in a relationship. Yeah. Oh, please, eh? I love you, but eh? This one, give it six. I have the one here, I'm Chadeline. But I'm always here for you when you when you need someone to talk to. Is this how you're gonna treat me? Ah. Good ma. Good ma. Ah. Tell me how are you? Very fine, ma'am. Good ma. Steph, is this not too hot for you? I ah, madam, that's what she be like hot food though. Ah. What about to do? I have no vest, sorry, madam. I have no vest. She don't go. Okay. I wanted to speak to you people about something. I don't know how today is going to end. But it's either I have seen my child or I haven't. But in case I have, I need you people to make her comfortable, please. Uh, of, of course, of course. Okay, ma'am. I also have noticed she's calm. She's um, somewhat, she's kind of unfriendly. She's reserved. Maybe because of what she's been through. But I beg you people, make her comfortable. Oh, voila, ma'am. Hmm? It's my problem, ma'am. <laughs> Madam, I want to tell you something. Make it just cool, relax. As long as I say chef, tell me did this house. Madam, believe me, she not go hungry. I go feed that, feed that, feed that thing, but I go big. Hey, hey, Madam, don't worry. <laughs> I trust you, no. Okay, then, sir. I need you to hurry up and get me ready. Oh, okay. okay. I have a meeting and... Uh, I need you to go to the office and get me a document. All right, no problem. I'm just, uh, I'll, I'll come immediately. Bye, madam. Bye, bye, Sam. Yes, madam. Yeah, hi. Yeah, yeah. Can, can you hear me now? Yes, I was saying that I got the alert. And I'll be ready for the press conference tomorrow. Yeah, but yeah, can we talk about all this later? Because I have to be somewhere right now. Yeah, should we say that the endorsement is for one year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we can sort all of that late, later. All right, thank you. <laughs> Bye. Yes!
She's not your daughter. No, she's not. But I thought you said you. I thought you said she was. She's not. So we stop searching? Yeah. No more searching. Tired of searching. <sighs> Alice, we have each other here. Yeah, we do. Oh. I'm so sad. I really hope that I had stopped searching. This is very, very difficult for me. I don't know where to go from here. Hmm. I need to take a break, guys. I, I will come back as soon as I, I can. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> this is bad. I feel so bad for her. Mm -hmm. My own is I should have kept quiet. Any small thing, you open your mouth, talk, talk, talk. I want to post on the internet. Must everything go on the internet? Abby? Now see. I know, right? But she looks so broken. Uh, who wouldn't be? I wonder how my boss will be feeling right now. Hmm? <laughs> your boss will be feeling worse. Worse than she's feeling. Good day, ma'am. Good day, ma'am. How are you guys doing? Very fine, ma'am. Very well. <sighs> Did I just see you writing with your left hand? Oh, um, I, I actually use both hands, but I, I do more of the right hand. I just use my left sometimes. Wow. And you eat very hot food. Huh. Madam. And her favorite ice cream is strawberry. Shut mm. up your mouth to ask the question. And she hates cake too. Hmm. Tell me, you're really ready for gossip this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to gossip after. <laughs> okay. Can you get me a glass of water and then two slices of limo? Oh, okay, ma'am. Yeah. And for you, Steph, get me ready. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Okay, ma'am, sure. So we can run out. Small thing that won't keep quiet. Get water for her, you don't hear it. Where is the water? Uh. Good day, ma. Good work, how are you? I'm fine, ma. What do they want? Um, ma, they want to come in and have an interview with you concerning the DNA results and, of course, the ministerial appointment. Oh, I am not ready for any interview. So you go speak with them. Okay, ma. You know how to say everything, yet say nothing. Absolutely, so. ma. Yes, ma. Are you close to Stephanie? She has a very private life, and I've never really taken her time to ask her personal questions. Not so much, ma. So tell me, what do you know? Mm, not so much, ma. Tell me what you know. Ma, I know that she was adopted um, and that's something she never really likes to talk about. Um, I also know that the woman that adopted her adopted four other kids. Okay. I've seen one of them, um, Benny. Okay. Is she really 29? Yes, ma. November 5th? Yes, ma. Wow. Okay. Don't say anything to her. Okay, ma.
Ah, I settled them yesterday, so it cannot be them. They better not. Good evening, ma. You must be Benny. Yes. Wow. Yes, Can I see? Yes, ma. Sure, of course. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, welcome, ma. But you didn't tell me you were coming. <laughs> it was an impossible decision. Um, okay, what did I get you? Um, no, no, no. Don't worry. I came here for a reason. I hope everything is fine. No problem. Okay. Uh, mm. Shut up. Uh, okay. Sorry. Stephanie. After this whole Juliana being my child, I decided that if the DNA test comes out negative, I will stop searching. I noticed that you're a very private person. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I think you've been working with me for over two years. Over two years, ma'am. I decided not to pry into your affairs. Thank you. <laughs> but I just discovered something. And that's why I'm here. Okay, ma'am. You say the problem, ma'am. Are you really 29 years old? Yeah. Ah, no, no, ma. See, what do you mean? Our adopted mother that adopted the both of us, she likes to give us our age based off our size. And she looked at me and she said, Ah, this baby should be a very, she's looking very chubby like this. So she's probably older. So she gave me an older age than her own because she, she was a skinny baby. She needs to eat too much, very slim baby like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's why she gave her an age that is younger than her age. But if you ask me, from my mind of mind, my heart of heart, I will say that she's around that kind of 29, 30. So she's close to that 30 that you're talking about. Just so because she, she brought you first? Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, ma. No. <laughs> Stephanie. Ma. Your favorite ice cream is strawberry. Yes. Sing with me. You like very hot food. Yes. Very hot food. She likes it very hot straight from the pot. Sing with me. You write with both hands. Oh that that that's it. That's yes, she writes with both hands. With and she sleeps with without her pillow. Really? Yes, ma. Say with me. Would you like for us to go for a dinner? Then? Ah, <laughs> yes, she would love it so much. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. You yeah. like to speak for a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, ma. DNA f for what? Let's let's arrange for a DNA test for to be sure. <laughs> yes, she wants to do Shut a DNA mouth, test bitch. for you and her. Shut up, mouth. Calm down. It's let's, not that let's arrange it. Ooh. Hola. Welcome, Sissy. Thank you, darling. Mm, how did it go? Good. We've done the test and waiting for 48 hours to get the result. Well, sit, because I know you're tired. Come yeah. here. It's been, what, 12 years? Since you started looking for your parents, your mother. But if it comes out negative, no one. No. <laughs> no <laughs> Don't one. worry, yes. Oh, we'll we'll just, just keep hoping and searching. But let's be positive. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. So in this. Oh, God. I don't even want to think. You don't say anything to yourself. Sorry, yeah. Do you want me to make something for you to eat? Yeah. <sighs> How come you never told me? I just made that decision on my way back from the meeting, so I went straight there. Wow. So many people make such similar decisions. Well, we've already gone for the DNA. Let's see what happens. And if it turns out negative? I'll stop. 
Who said that before? Why do you think I always do the wrong things? I never said you do the wrong things. I'm just, you know, looking at it. Look. Jules' story is very similar to yours. I mean, all the things that you've listed seems to be the same thing with us, Stephanie. I don't want you seeing your child in every girl that comes close to you. That's not what is going on here. I just hope it's not. It's not. It better not be. It's not. And then she asked me to tell her what I know about Stephanie. So did you? Yes. You know, Steph just hates talking about how she was adopted. Are you saying I should have lied to her? No. You know, I was wondering why she was asking me all those questions. And then I realized that Steph naturally does a lot like Madame. You're correct. Wait a minute. She, she loves strawberry like Madame. And then she hates cake. She wraps it two hands. And then she hates old food. <laughs> Wait. Are you trying to tell me that she might be Madame's child? <laughs> we just faint. So, do you think they've done a DNA test? I think they already did. So why is she not here today? I don't know. Gosh. I am just imagining the possibilities. Hmm. So, should we just call her? And then tell her what? And just find out where she is at least. Why? Babe, why are you ask questions like this now? Eh? I didn't come to tell you this, so you start making it obvious that I said something to you. Okay, fine. No wahala. Hmm. I need to go and meet Madame's driver. I need to get more information. Hmm. That's very true. Come here. Okay. What's wrong? Someone just sent me an article my madam posted years back. Okay, what does that have to do with anything? <sighs> Wait, the caption is, I will do anything to find my missing daughter. Okay, wait, I thought she never spoke about it. Well, she apparently did that a long time ago. <sighs> what? Wait, Please, what wait, does it say? There's a message. Hello, Stephanie. You don't know me, but I know that you are the personal assistant to Mrs. Brightsweet. Please, let her know that Juliana knew her story from the article I sent to you. I was with her when we read the article online and she decided that she was going to be that missing child. Huh? Wait, that's not <laughs> what? No, 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 that's not all. She had a channel that was not growing and she said she wanted to do whatever it takes. When we saw that story, she started playing the role of a victim and people started warming up to her until she was able to attract Mrs. Brightweight. Her <laughs> parents are still alive and I know them. Hey, can you imagine? Hey. Okay. And... <laughs> And I was thinking that she had no idea that the result was going to be negative and I was feeling that she was going to be broken. Okay, this girl is mean. She's wicked. What? What are you going to do now? Will you tell your boss? Will you tell your boss? Of course, she needs to know about it. Yes, yes. Ha. <sighs> but um, how did she turn that to me? Please. Try not to think, think about it. Mm -mm. You have to think about it. The result is due this evening. Oh, well, I still don't want to think about it. 
Look, she has asked me to stay back so that if the result is negative, I will just come back to work tomorrow and act like nothing happened. So this is me trying to live my life and go back to work, focusing on going back to work like nothing happened. Okay, Stephanie, don't be pessimistic. Look, okay. I experienced the whole thing with Jules and, and I know how he felt. So I, I really do not want to put myself in that position right now. Okay, fine. Um, well, if the result turns out to be positive, can I still be your sister? I don't know. You know I've got you forever. Forever. You are sisters forever. Sisters forever. Also forever. making me feel <laughs> Okay, sissy, let's go. <sighs> Steph, we need to go. Hmm? I know that you're worried, but this is the moment you've been waiting for all your life. Okay, let's go. Can't believe this is happening. <sighs> it is. I've walked with this woman, I see her practically every day for over two years and I didn't know oh she didn't know either how am I supposed to react you are supposed to react like a woman that is grateful okay and if you want to know why she abandoned you this is the best time to ask her yeah say why and ask why all the time I didn't even know she was referring to me do you know she was talking to me? Steph, haven't you been waiting for this moment? You have, right? You are no longer the personal assistant of Cecilia Brightworth. Now I know that this title means nothing to you. I know all you care about is to find your mother. And now that you have, and she has found you too, and she's ready to welcome you, you are going to wipe this tears off your face, put on a very wild, beautiful smile, and let's go and embrace the mother you've always wanted. Hmm? Okay. Smile. Baby. Congratulations. I am so happy that you two finally found each other. Thank you. Thank so you cute. <laughs> Don't cry. Mother 
and daughter reunite. It wasn't very easy after the deceptive roller coaster she went through with the vlog sensation Juliana. After having to go through a DNA test with another potential daughter, but this time around, it turns out to become a dream come true. Juliana, aka Jules, was the first person to bring this story to our notice when she was parading herself as the daughter to be for cheap publicity, followership, and money. But it turns out to be the best for the Britwit. wrong with this one? My princess! Uh, are you girls so. kidding me? Oh, hey. stop that. Stop that the mad. Wait, no verse. I, I, I oh. verse. Una de mad at Una de Chris. You huh? should stop doing really Hey! Princess! Stop. Uh, stop. Uh, stop. Uh, stop. Uh, stop. Uh, stop. 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 Please sit to the oh, press. Yes, ma'am. Another set of persons are here. Yes, ma'am. Tell them. Uh, check what to the field. Yes, ma'am. My dear. I know this is a different and strange relationship starting for us. Please see us to move in immediately. Please. You've been sacked as my peer. <laughs> oh, wait. Does that mean I'm not going to have a job anymore? No. You will see to the well being of this mansion. You'll be promoted. Princess. It's okay. It's Thank okay. you so much, ma'am. I'm sorry. Mom. Well, Call me mom. Why do you want to call me? Call me. 